What a load of shite, like, seriously, is there any way to describe that that isn't shite or lucky or, you know, a bit of inspiration? Like I said at half time, we're probably going to win one, I'll put that on Twitter, we're probably going to win one nil thanks to a bit of inspiration or, you know, just a bit of magic or a scrappy goal or whatever, and it turned out that was the case. Memphis produced some decent solo runs, you know, he was the only one taking a shot, sarcastically cheered when we took a shot in the 65th minute, well Memphis did from 25 yards, but on the whole, like, it, it was just so boring, like, if there's any game that highlights that, I mean, there's been enough nil-nils in this, in this year, but against a League One side, where you can't even have a shot on target until the 67th minute, it's just pathetic, alright, why do we have to play two holding midfielders, especially when they are Bastien Schweinsteiger and Marouane Fellaini, neither of them are holding midfielders, they're central midfielders, or even cams, and it, it's just pathetic, like why, why did it take 76 minutes for us to be playing with one holding centre midfielder, which was Bastien, when we brought on Pereira, I mean, it just baffles belief. We have so many passes, but we never look like scoring. The best chance and the earliest chance came to Sheffield United. And how many times has that happened at Old Trafford this year, where United, well, Manchester United have had all the possession, all the passing, but the first real chance of the game has went to the opposition. The last 10 games at Old Trafford have finished, well, apart from one where we were losing 1-0 to Norwich, have finished 0-0 at Old Trafford. We haven't scored at home at Old Trafford in 10 consecutive games. It, it's just not good enough, alright? Yes, that's two wins on the bounce now, but, you know, uh, Swansea again, it took a little bit of inspiration from Wayne Rooney with a back heel to win it, and it, now it took a bit of inspiration from Memphis to run into the box, get brought down and get a penalty in the 94th minute. It's, it's just not good enough, it really isn't. Yeah, we're through, I'm happy of that, of course I am, but with the team we played, we played one of our strongest lineups, for fuck's sake. Like, I, I don't understand the point in, you know, prior to this game, resting Schneidlin, because he's in the peak of his career, he's barely played compared to some other players as well. So, you know, I thought maybe someone like Bastian could have done with a break. I mean, he was alright today, but he, he got injured later on, but it seemed to, he seemed to get up and, you know, hopefully he's alright for the next game, but I, I just think that's an excuse to leave Schneidlin out. I mean, with Schneidlin in there, we could have played a lot more attackingly because he would have snuffed out all the attacks anyway. As I say, Schweinsteiger and Fellaini aren't, aren't DMs. We really don't have a, a solid DM apart from Schneidlin. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why he was rested. But as I say, it was a strong lineup. I think the only youth you could say we had in there was Cameron Brothwick Jackson. Obviously, we played Martial, but he's a first team player now anyway. Um, so yeah, we played a very, very strong lineup. We had Herrera, we had Mata, we had, um, as I say, Marcel, Rooney, uh, and just, it didn't seem to work. Mata needs dropped against Newcastle, alright? I love him as a player, but he's just been so, so poor for so long, and I don't know how he's kept his position. Herrera wasn't great today. Um, you know, <laughs> most of our players just, are so inconsistent under in this system and that's why it, it is the system it's the tactics alright yes the players have to take some responsibility but it's been so many throughout the last two years that have underperformed so it literally is it's the system and the tactics that are wrong only Schneidlin, Smalling, De Gea and Martial have been consistently good the rest of the team have been inconsistent at the very best and yeah it, it's it's just really not good enough I've never felt so depressed at going through on a cup competition like what the fuck I shouldn't be this unhappy with a win but when that win comes in the 94th minute thanks to a penalty against League One opposition Sheffield United yeah I'm not happy about that uh, at least we're through that's all I can say that is the only positive we are through and I suppose Memphis hopefully can find some sort of form but yeah anyway we'll see what happens next games against Newcastle United who have won one nil against Watford and um, so you know, hopefully we can hope for shots on target against them, maybe. The curse of Old Trafford won't be there with 10 games we haven't scored in the first half. It's at St. James's Park, so maybe we can score. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> like, uh, I'm done. Honestly, I'm done. But yeah, hopefully we can get another win and, you know, fight for fourth. <laughs> oh, we're just back to usual. Two years. 
Two years prior to this, we were fighting for fourth, and now that's what we're doing again. Brilliant.